truck drivers don't get pay raises, basically. And as a truck driver, you'll never make more money than you do currently. Check out this post, family. Doesn't matter where you are in trucking or whether you're not even in trucking. I want to know what you think. You'll see exactly what I mean shortly. I recently did a video on my channel, the pros and cons of trucking, and one of my viewers left a comment, and we went back and forth. And I want to know what you guys think about their perspective, what they're saying. So Pac-Man said, I disagree with one of your positives. What you saw as a positive, I see as a negative. In trucking, unless you start a fleet, your income is capped. You'll never make more money than you are today. Why do I say that? Who here owns a magic truck that can go more than 2,500 to 3,000 miles a week? You know, controls the shipper, the receiver, the broker, the weather, the traffic, ETC. I think that was a, a wrong word that got put in by accident. Basically saying we don't control any of those elements and all of that stuff affects how many miles we can get as a driver. And he goes on to say, so your miles are capped if OTR. This is true whether you're a company driver or an owner operator with a single truck. Whatever you're making, you'll keep making. The only way to increase it is by starting a fleet. And it has been established that the average truck driver is too dumb to even successfully lease a truck. Oh, and for the hourly folk, you can't add more hours in the day. So yeah, your salary is capped too. Good luck getting a pay raise. But see that office worker can job hop, move cities, get experience, and watch their salary continue to increase. I responded to Pac-Man's comment with, I'm thinking the positive that you're saying you disagree with is what I was saying about a, a driver's income tending to grow as shipping costs grow and also as demand for drivers grow. And then I asked him, you don't agree with that? I went on to say, I've heard many drivers, not all, say their pay has gone up over the last year or two. Companies that are hiring now are starting their payoff higher and paying more than they used to. I get paid more for doing the same work, the same runs now that I was doing last year. To extend the timeline even more, to really emphasize the point, my pop used to run from VA to Los Angeles. He would do it in seven days, three times a month, and he did it for three years for 25 cents per mile. Granted, that was a long time ago, and I do agree with you that you can't just magically do more miles or add more time to the day to increase your pay. But you can't say you'll never make more in trucking than you currently do even as just a driver slash one truck owner, because that's not necessarily true. Pac-Man responded with, oh, for sure. If you span it out over decades, there will be an increase. I remember my CDL instructor at the time stating that he used to make 18 cents a mile around 1990. But think about that. A new driver is making as low as 30 something cents at some companies, not even double in over 30 years. Keep in mind that a new college graduate can get an office job, maybe start out at 50k, gain two years of experience, switch companies, and now make 80k. Can a trucker hope to see that kind of pay increase in a few short years? Not really, because you're capped by mileage. So the first thing I want to do is shout out Pac-Man. He's a viewer here on the channel. He's always leaving good comments uh, under my video. So just want to let you know I appreciate you, bro. The main issue that I have with what Pac-Man is saying, and I want you guys to let me know what you think about what I'm about to say and all the different points that he hit on, the main point I got with what you're saying, what it sounds like you're saying here, Pac, is about the idea about truckers' income being capped, their money being capped. Sure, a truck driver's income is capped by miles. It's only, you can only do so many miles in a day. That is true, but the issue that I have with that is I don't feel like you can blame that on trucking. I feel like that's a result of anybody that earns their income when their income is tied to time. If your income is tied to how many hours there are in a day, which is most people, then your income is capped. Your money is capped. Even the office workers that you're talking about, whether they're making 50K or 80K, if their income is tied to how many hours there are in a day, then their money is capped. A fleet owner, you got more trucks. Now your income is not capped by, now your income is not tied to how many hours there are in a day. Your income is only limited to how much freight you can move and Obviously, the more trucks you got, the more freight that you can move. Most people know that in sales, you can make as much as you want to. There is no cap on your income in sales, but not just as a salesperson. And that doesn't matter what your commission is. If your commission is a million dollars, you can only do so much work in one day. You may have a high cap if that's your commission, but your income is still capped because it's tied to 
time. As opposed to if you have a sales force, if you got sales people and you're getting paid off of them, off of their sales, now your income is not tied to time, it's tied to how much product you can move and you can move more product with more sales people. So while it is true that a truck driver's income is capped and limited by time, that's anybody that it, their income is tied to time. Their income is, uh, is is as a direct result of how many hours there are in a day. Again, it don't matter whether you're an office worker, whether you're a truck driver, whether you're getting paid 50K or 80K. So I don't feel like you can blame that on trucking. But I want to know what you guys think about about that. Do you feel like your income is capped as, as a truck driver? I want to know what you college graduates think. I want to know what you office workers think. The indication in his comments is that it's easier to get pay raises and you know come you know move through the ranks. It's easier as a new college graduate to come in and get started and see pay raises over the first few years. I was thinking truck drivers could come in, get their experience, and go somewhere else and make more money, just like the office worker could. Maybe I'm wrong. If I am, let me know down in the comments. You guys that have tried to execute a lease, let me know what you what what your opinion on what he said about that. I hope anybody didn't get offended about what he said, but. You know, let's stick to the, the the subject matter of what he's saying, which it sounds like he's saying most leases fail. So what's you guys' opinion on that? If you tried to execute a lease and didn't, I know that some people's act, um, um, objective when they go into a lease is never to take ownership of the truck. They're just trying to run it up as much as they can. They're just trying to make as much money as they can. So, you know, some people might would consider that failing if you don't take ownership of the truck. And I know other individuals... Um, successfully became owner operators by way of being a lease operator first so if you've been down that path let me know what you're saying let me know your opinion on what he said about that i know there's others that feel like the average lease isn't set up um in the driver's best interest so i know there's a lot to that i feel like that point needs more clarity and if you're an older driver or a newer driver but if you're an older driver you've been around for five years ten years you know what you started at you see what drivers are starting at now you see a difference you don't see a difference I think all that stuff needs more clarity, man. If, 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 if any of the, of the points that he hit on applies to you listening to the video, let me know what you guys think down, down in the comments. For me, you know, it just kind of hit me in a weird way when I read him, the part that he said about truck drivers don't get pay raises, basically. And as a truck driver, you'll never make more money than you do currently. I know there's some truth in that, but, you know, that just kind of hit me and you know that just kind of hit me a weird way i went to see my tax guy the other day and got an estimate of what my taxes are going to be for next year based on my income this year and i'm on a trajectory for it to be eight thousand dollars more than it was last year so he hit on a lot of points i want to know what anybody that what he said applies to i want to know what you guys think about what he said i can't wait to see y'all's comments now speaking about pay raises and making more as a truck driver i did two videos a while ago is now a good time to get your CDL and is now a good time to become an owner operator. You may want to check those videos out if you got value from this video.